Hi, this is Lucy from webtrainingwheels.com and I'm going to talk to you about pingbacks and trackbacks because they um, seem to cause a lot of confusion and I get a lot of questions about what exactly they are. Um, so pingbacks and trackbacks are basically automated ways that blogs can communicate with each other. They, the terms are used pretty much interchangeably these days. They used to be more distinct from each other but these days they're very similar so I'm just gonna refer to them as trackbacks so the way that they work is basically just from linking to other blog posts so for example if I write a post and I'm gonna go now this is a music blog that I have um, so if I write a post and in that post I make a reference to a different blog post on a different site um, and I make the reference simply by including a link to that post in my blog. Um, so you can see here in this post I'm referencing another blog right here. And so what happens is when I create that link to that blog post, that other blogger will get a notification in their dashboard, in that comments section, um, that lets them know that my blog has linked to them and that's basically a trackback so it will show up in their comment section and they get to approve it or choose not to approve it just as they would any other comment um, in this case they did approve it so what happens is that uh, if we scroll down to the comment section this is the blog post that I created the link to in the comment section you can see that um, there's an excerpt of what I wrote along with a link back to my site. So what's happened here is that in an automated fashion I've created a link from this other website back to my website. Um, and it all happened automated. All that I had to do was create this, this link. Also uh, just to clarify the link has to be to a specific blog post on another site. Um, if you just link to the home page, um, it's not going to work. So what this means is that you can use these um, references strategically to gain more exposure for your blog in the form of a link in that other blog's comments. Um, of course, it's up to that other blogger as to whether they choose to approve that or not. But if you're making a legitimate reference, in many cases, they will approve it and you gain a link back to your site. So I can show you also how this works uh, the other way around. So this is a post that I wrote on my own blog and what happened is that another blogger uh, made a reference to this post on his blog. He did that over here. Um, so he you know, quoted part of my post and then he included the reference with a link back to my post so what happened is that that then showed up in my dashboard under the comments and I decided to approve it um, because it was legitimate so I approved it and it shows up in the comments for this post and here you can see um, the title of his post and there's a link that goes to his site from my site. So now we've got a mutual link here. This is the one from his site. And then he gets the link back in the comment on my post. And that's basically how pingbacks and trackbacks work. Um, you may find as you continue to blog that you do get some you know, spam bots trying to game this system just to get backlinks. Um, so you'll see some essentially spam trackbacks in your comments uh, which of course you can just choose to mark those as spam you don't have to approve those so they don't actually appear on your site um, so that's it that's all about pingbacks and trackbacks and you can find more information at my site webtrainingwheels.com